Hey BBs, it's Plastic and today I'm back with you guys for another video. How are we all doing today? I hope we're all doing really, really, really fierce. In today's video, we have finally got my claws on the last Monster High School Mint Secrets doll that I need to complete my collection. We have Frankie Stein. I have taken so much time getting this doll. It's actually so funny. Um, the only reason I have this doll with me today, like currently today, is because I had to buy this doll on eBay, um, which is kind of scary for these like blind package dolls. But thankfully, the seller looks to be very um real because like this is like new in box and everything but i had to buy them on ebay because on amazon they sold out like it's like third party sellers when amazon raised the price to 35 dollars on this doll at least as of right now and um so i just kind of freaked out i was like okay let's just like buy them on ebay or whatever so i can like get them and like be done with school and secret series one because this line was released in walmart for like literally like two weeks and like they just have not been shown at all um we have school and secrets two in target stores right now and they're more widely available so i'm kind of like okay to wait for those to go on sale but this one i paid twenty dollars plus nine dollar shipping so it was around like thirty dollars which is the retail price anyway so whatever it's fine i got the doll that's what really matters obviously for the video and um i have the ultimate secrets one line completed so without that let's just get into this diva so obviously we know the Sculptman Secrets gig. Um, it's like a locker. You open them and it's fun. We have really cool artwork of from Darko of Frankie Stein. Here they look. Um, and then the back of the box, the other dolls. Here's the barcode. Um, again, I have no idea where this doll is being sold anymore. The limited run of this. I don't know if you know if it's, this line was limited or whatever. Um, they're just not on Amazon for $30 anymore, which is their, which is their retail price, y'all. Um, so <sighs> this is the part that I'm always scared for. Let's do it together. Okay. Honestly, is this face bad? I cannot tell. I don't think so. I think it's pretty good compared to the ones that I've seen online. Here is Frankie Stein. Look at that mug. I'm content with that. Ooh. Okay, I think this slide might be a little bit smaller, but honestly, it's not as bad. Okay. Here is like the little things from Frankie. We've, I think, again, <gasps> Clanky. <laughs> oh wait, that's actually really crazy. Well, this is from the um the jewelry episode, right? The, with the um the influencer girl. Aww, Frankie's birthday passed. I didn't even say happy birthday, Watsy. Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> um, let me get into this doll. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the ties. Um, I feel like I've seen this. Um, for Skull Ultimate Secrets, like, just how to, like, open the locker, so I'm not gonna do anything crazy with this review. I feel like I've been opening a lot of Skull Ultimate Secrets dolls recently, like, I recently got, um, who was it? It was, what, Cleo? It was my la latest one, and I got Frankie from Series 2. Uh, the polypropylene hair. This is the reason why I didn't want to buy this doll, and this is why it's taken me so long to get this doll, is because this Frankie has polypropylene hair, which is not my favorite in the world. It's kind of more coarse and more rough, but, um, you know, at least it's, like, it's not horrible out of the box, and it's a little bit soft. Wait. It kind of is a little... It feels like Abby abby's polypropylene which is like a little bit more rougher it doesn't feel like it's treated or anything like um like cleo's called the like uh, no cleo wave one doll had like a nice softer polypropylene but this one's just a little bit more coarse and there's something happening with this hair so i don't know what to do about that i'll just brush it off to the side but the hair besides being polypropylene is in a couple like layers we have some like black lots of white and a blue streak at the front as like a um money piece i think that's what it's called um, have not been in my Cosmo class in a minute. But um, look at this face for Frankie. Like, the pink and the green eyeshadow was so cool. This is my favorite thing about this doll is how different the eyeshadow is. Like, I think it's really, really cool that they did that. I love this so much. I love the two-tone lip, or, like, the um eyes. There's also some blushing on this doll and some pink lips. We have a very basic outfit, which is, say, uh, ooh, this shirt is fitting. <laughs> It fits like a dollar. Like, this doesn't feel like it's a really great shirt. It's very Lucy Kabusi Ma. It's not very silly licious, and I don't love it, to be honest. It's just like, it like fitted like a t potato bag. I'm just gonna say that, and I'm probably not gonna keep this doll in this shirt. It just, like, doesn't fit them right at all. It's a zap, though, and it's just giant. Um, but it is hemmed, I guess, so that's kind of nice. Um, definitely interesting. We have a skirt, which is kind of like a mini. It's a little bit shorter than I thought it was gonna be, which is really cool. It's like lightning bolts and has a little zipper. Print goes on the back. And this is something that I was also very confused about. Like, they took away Frankie's, like, little, like, things on the leg. But these we have these, like, clear rain boot things. Wait, these are cool, actually. Okay, I kind of live for these. And, like, little, like, bolts on them. Aww. 
this is really, really cool. I like these boots actually in person a lot more than I thought I was going to like them. And then we have to look at the instructions because I love looking at the instructions to see what the doll looks like because they do them, yeah. Very Frankenstein. I forgot, but there's like a key here and like that's how you open the rest of the thing. So I forgot that it was right there. But um, that's why I was like looking for a minute like, wait, what happened? So we have the key and the key opens up the rest of the um, like little like compartments. So like, like the blind bag thing. Here is the first one. I, I, I will say, as much as I don't, like, love this Goldman Secrets line, I mean, I don't hate it, but it's just, like, there's some things I have issues with it. I do like opening the fun surprise things. Besides, like, the doll, I like opening these accessories. They're cool. We have another key, which you can put in water and it, whatever. We have this jacket, which I'm so excited about. Oh, my gosh. It's, like, kind of satiny. Wow. It's actually a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. Wait a minute. I've been gaslighting myself this whole time that this is going to be like, a really cheap piece. It's kind of really good. I don't know. Um, we also have the better shirt in this line. Thank um, Monster High. Look at this. It's It looks really, really nice. And we have these shorts, which also look kind of nice. Um, I have to see these on the doll, obviously. I don't even know. Where did the key go? I lost. We're just going to use this key for now because I don't know where the other one went for the next compartment. Um, all right, so this is going to be like, the big stuff. Oh, that was a really big bag. <laughs> okay, so everything is in this. We have another key, which is, like, very green. We have Z hat, which is really heavy, honestly, in real life. Just a black little one. It kind of gives, like, um, Chloe from the 2018 Bratz line, which is really cool. Um, we also have this little collar. Oh, I like the Monster High symbols and these earrings. I don't know how I feel about these yet. Uh, they're really, really bright. Uh, we're gonna have to see how these look on the doll, obviously. And then using that... Ah! This is a review is like a mess so far. I don't know what's happening. Opening one of the bigger boxes again. What is in here? I honestly don't remember. Okay, so we have the key ring. So you can put all the keys on there. Another key that you can put in water. And these shoes, which are, I'm actually really excited about. These are like kind of like gray and they have like black soles. Ooh, anything on the bottom? Not really. But these are really nice. I'm excited about these. And the last little thing is going to have, I want to predict... The other accessories. Hello. <laughs> okay, is that it? That is it. So we have a little like zappuccino from the iced coffee brand. And this piece you can like take out and it's like a separate thing. And I think this had the same mold for Cleo. Um, like their school limit secret stall for her. So that's cool. And then Frankie also comes with some yum some cereal um but i think i'm gonna get this doll in their second outfit and i'll be back with you wait guys. i lied i think i'm gonna get them from the outfit from the box photo like the full outfit with like the jacket and the earrings and everything and then we'll and be and just as predicted this outfit is kind of a train wreck to be honest this hat kind of looks like a train conductor hat with it um so maybe that's like a pun in there i don't know um but the hat actually lays the polypropylene down kind of nicely um it's very very form head fitting but it like is very heavy like this hat is very heavy and it kind of like has like the held tilt head tilted back a little bit um maybe that's just like a, my experience but it it kind of looks like a lot like i think the hat could have been smaller or uh, i don't know um but yeah, and then we also have these earrings, which aren't also as disgusting as I thought they would be. They're, again, very bright. You can't even really focus in on them. But, like, there's a little lightning bolt or whatever. Um, it's just a lot. I think the collar doesn't fit on with this shirt. The whole jacket situation is very confusing to me because, like, it doesn't look good. It looks like a potato sack. And I think that's fine for me to say. Um, but it just looks like, um, it doesn't look like it's fitted for this doll like it looks like it's like an abby shirt or like a doll or like for like a bigger like a, maybe like a rainbow high shirt or something like this just does not feel like a monster high shirt and like the jacket doesn't look good with the shirt on i think it'll look better with this shirt to be honest because like this is a more form-fitting shirt and this is like a kind of a looser jacket so i think the combination might look a little bit better we're gonna have to try that on in a minute but um the rest of the outfit's pretty much the same i just can't get into this like this is just like a me thing it like does not like fit correctly and it like it's Ugh. Okay, so we're gonna get on to the second outfit. Hopefully it's better than the first one so I can have Frankie displayed nicely with Cleo because like I really wanted this doll to be next to Cleo, but um Yeah, I don't know mixed thoughts mixed feelings and yeah. there we go. I think that looks a lot much better Um, yeah, so it kind of 
fits a little bit nicer on and i just wanted to do this before i put the full second outfit on but um i like this combination a lot better the shirt is like like the skirt is like very like loose i don't know has it always been this loose or maybe the shirt's like smaller but i might like want to pin this back a little bit so it like kind of fits a little bit the clothes on this doll is very odd that's what i'm gaining so far i haven't put the shorts on yet but um very very interesting how they've decided to um form these clothes to this doll's body i don't know if i like it and we're taking a little iced coffee break with the second outfit. Again, I love the shirt a lot more. I think the fishnet sleeves are super, super, super beyond cute. And the print is really, really nice fitting. The shorts are also pretty nice for um, high-waisted biker shorts that we've seen a million times with this Frankie. I think Frankie loves those little biker shorts. Um, so these are cool. I like these. And the shoes, I think the shoes with the pants are kind of horrendous because, like, there's just so many, like, like especially on this leg. I think we need, like, a sock or something just because, like, there's so much silver happening and, like, these don't match correctly. Like, I mean, obviously, like, the leg doesn't have to, like, match this, but, like, the shoes not matching kind of bothers me. Um, but these are really, really cool shoes. I just don't think this outfit looks good with the shoes. Like, I think it's, it's a mix and match doll. That's what I have to keep in mind. But, um, I don't love that, to be honest. But besides this shirt um the polypropylene hair this jacket kind of being weird a little bit um and i think the shoes maybe i think i'm pretty okay with this doll there are some things that i think are very very odd like the i understand that this doll is budgetally differently like than regular monster high but the polypropylene hair is so unnecessary especially when we have all of these colors in saran hair and i don't want to harp on that too much because as of right now as of september 23rd 2023 oh my god we've been seeing a lot more monster high dolls have saran variants like um monster ball and core claudine have all had saran variants and going into the future we've seen a lot more claudine dolls with saran hair and a lot more frankie dolls with saran hair so I don't want to harp too much on this polypropylene hair as I think they've heard us and they are making strides to get rid of polypropylene, hopefully forever for Monster High. Um, but if not, it'll probably exclu be exclusive to the Skultimate Secrets dolls as these are more like cheaper. They do have like the bus articulation, which I think is very, very interesting with this doll um, and all the normal articulation. But besides the polypropylene hair, I just wish they would have used the core blend, honestly. Um, like from like the regular release Monster High Frankie, I think that would have made a lot more sense, but uh, this is cheap, it feels awful, it's like layered poorly, and it just like doesn't look right. Um, besides, like the hat makes it look a little bit better. Um, but also on like further inspection, like mine is not like rooted properly, like there's more blue on this side and like less on this side. Um, and also this shirt is one of the worst Monster High pieces I've gotten for Generation 3, um, and that's being very, very nice. Um, it just does not fit correctly and it bothers me a lot, so that will not be on display. Besides that, really solid. But as a conclusion to this review, I just want to say, if you have not gotten a Schools of Mid Secrets Frankie from either one or two, both these dolls have polypropylene hair, but I would recommend this second wave one because they're both going to have cheap hair. Just get the one with the, with, with, with the more nice design, with the better design. That's what I meant to say. Um, but this one's fun. It feels like a relic of its time. It feels very, very late 2022, which is when we first got these leaks. And I am beyond happy to kind of complete school to secrets with this doll so like that's what i'm happy for but um yeah i don't know where this doll is being sold anymore um they showed up in targets or they showed up, showed up in walmart it's like springtime and then they've just been gone and again amazon is charging 34 dollars for this doll when they retail for 30 dollars. so best bet if you want this doll is try to find an ebay or mercari listing that's around the retail price range that's kind of again what i did um so yeah Good luck to everybody who wants this diva. And if you guys have Frankie Sign, this one, um, let me know your thoughts and opinions on their details. Even if you don't have them, actually just do it. But if you have them, let me know how you feel about them in your personal collection. Because I just want to like gauge like my shirt just really wonky is everyone's. I don't know. Um, again, I haven't really watched any reviews on this doll, to be honest. But okay, uh, I'm rambling now. Um, thank you guys, though, so beyond much for watching today's video. I cannot wait to catch all, though, in the next one. Have a fierce day, and I'll see you very soon. Love ya. Bye. Bye, everybody.